Okay, so Marie, Pierre, and I are gonna test a baby seat in the Maverick. Now we wanna, we have got no practice in this whatsoever. Really, we've got no kids, so we literally have no practice whatsoever. And we have no practice <laughs> never with a Maverick on top of that. So, you know, there's a lot of reviews um, that will push maybe saying, oh, this is really tough. Um, with that kind of title to get more views well what we really want to make sure is that you've got the right information so that you make the right uh, purchasing decision uh, we want to be there to, to help out so Johnny's Car Care and Reviews like and subscribe if you want you know the real deal behind you know pretty much everything we put our hands on so we're gonna do this for the first time if you look like fools well um, that's because we, uh, we, we maybe maybe I am and we'll see how Marie Pia does because we'll let her set set this in see if she can handle it <laughs> Okay, so Marie's gonna see what she can do for bringing in the car seat because apparently this has, for some, been a very difficult process. It's big and we see that we have uh, the right space for sure. If you dry, uh, drive and you need to uh, put your seat back, you, you have a, a good amount of, of space, I, I would say. So with that seat, we don't need to uh, go search for the hook, but if you search it, I will just remove it for to show. If you need the hooks, it's easier. You just need to pull that. And you have all the space uh, to put the right hook that you want. So those are your tether hooks right there. The seat does move forward quite a bit. Now, of course, if we had both seats back as absolutely far as possible, basically this one is as back as far as possible. That's why there's only about seven inches there. But still, you can get, you can see, you can get the tether spots to the tether spots just the same. So here, this is a pass-through seat belt. You pass the seat belt through the bottom. So I read, the, I, I read the instructions before. So on the baby seat. Yeah, it made it more easier. So that's it. Yeah, so definitely if you don't do the typical guy thing of not reading instructions, uh, yeah, you might fumble a, wh a while and say, I don't like these d dimensions. But when you actually read the instructions in, in the first place, like Marie Pia did, it's as fast and easy as that. We really don't think having to get the tether hooks in the back, you know, there, one video presented them as being like so far down, you can't, get, you can almost not get your arm back there. But uh, I don't have the smallest arms and I can reach back there, no problem. And, yeah. It was a lot of space, it was uh, enough. Great, now here's the real test, Marie. Why don't you try to go sit in the driver's seat? Yeah, I had moved that seat all the way forward as much as possible to give us as much working room as possible, but let's get you back in there. How do you feel now? Plenty of space, it's the, the right place that I would put my seat. And okay. I'm tall, I'm... Uh, yeah. Uh, five uh, foot eight. Yeah, you always say you're five foot eight, but I'm convinced you're five foot nine. You like to play it a little Almost shorter. Nine. <laughs> yeah, with your boots, you're definitely five nine something. But anyways, we can see now that we could just, you know, drop a baby in there. Sorry, we don't have one to uh, show that part, but I'm now gonna show what it looks like if I'm sitting in the front and if I fit. Okay, so now Marie Pia is tested in the front, and in case you're thinking, oh well, you know, she's probably not all that tall. I'm 5'11 with my boots, so 5'10 basically, 5'10 and a half without. And where she put the seat is actually just fine, but what's nice is all models of Mavericks have the telescopic steering. So I can just put that right in to really get more, a little more arm room. And I do like actually, speaking of arm room, Ford made this big huge sill. The door sill is super wide and that's for getting just the right rest you know, I'd put the seat a little higher. You can pump the seat up like this and you can get just the perfect elbow spot on that door sill. Uh, leg room, I'm fine. Now I will say if I was 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 yeah, there'd be maybe it quite, uh, there'd be poss possible issues. Um, and if you have, you know, two kids seats in the back, baby seats or kids seats, uh, well, baby seats really, well then maybe that's gonna be an issue. But if you only have one baby seat, well, Put it on the passenger side, and then yes, if you do switch drivers really often, 
maybe a, you know maybe I'll can create an inconvenience but this is very doable so I hope this has been helpful it really is our goal and if you do find our videos helpful please do like and subscribe because we really want to cover the real deal on everything we're not just looking for clicks and say you know Maverick can't handle a baby seat because that's clearly this is like one of those long ones uh, the more straight up ones we believe would have taken up actually less space and here we are we're fitting great uh, no issues at all love the telescopic steering that's available on all models remember if you get an XL you do not have can, cannot get cruise control from the factory but we'll talk more about all those what you can get what you can't get in other videos so stay tuned thank you for watching